let's uh, do more of this stuff. Keep watching later on YouTube. Hope you're enjoying. Thanks for clicking. As always. Set it in a different order. <laughs> uh, I gotta... I'm gonna cook some food. I'm out of just standard heal items, so I'm gonna do that real quick. So I'm not chomping. Just general stuff. But I think I'm pretty much done in this area for now, so we're gonna go elsewhere. Hi. Okay, just do a few of these. I mean, these are movement speed things. Should probably make a few. Oh, that's like a high level movement speed? Just... That's easy. I guess it's five minutes, not that long. But still. Do a few of them. Okay, let's see how the food's looking now. Uh, five standard heals. We got some health. We got movement speed. Defense. Cold. Heat. Attack. One electric resist. I think... Yeah, and we got some sneaky sneak. That's good enough. Let me open my drink. Okay, one thing I'm gonna start doing is... Let me save it. Because I got these cards, I want to use them, but... Not to get an advantage, it's more just to collect some of the cosmetic shit. So... The way to do this, because I, I do have amiibo. But the way to do it was to summon a chest, okay. And then hope for the best. Okay, well there you go, I got one. So that's the that's the classic Zelda one. Um, except okay, the barrel's on fire, sure. It's probably not probably not a good thing that the barrels are on fire. Okay, I mean I got a baked app baked apples is not gonna make much of a difference. That's fine. Not so pay to win. But there you go. That that's that comes from the eight bit one. So that's Zelda one. And if I want to look like Zelda one Link, I guess that's the cap. Anyway, there's others. Okay, where are we headed? I'm gonna head to the north area. We're going out the north. So here. And then we're gonna go out the side. And we're gonna start exploring... Um, what tower is this? Raru? No. Woodland. Alright, Woodland. So, that's where I'm headed today. That's where we want to go out. Um, that blasted Redania. What's wrong? With Redania running wild recently, Death Mountain's eruptions have gotten real bad. Do you see Redania stomping around up there on the mountain? They say a hundred years ago it actually used to protect our people from harm, but that was then and this is now. Now all it does is mess up our mining operations. We're all suffering because it's stopping us from doing business. I can't tell you how many times we fired that cannon to chase off that fiend. But it always comes back. Ah. 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 Hmm. It's just some back pain. Wait. Who are you? I'm a traveler. I see. 
So then you came all this way to pay your respects to me. I like you already, brother. Well, my name's Bluto. I am the great Goron boss who's fearsome enough to silence a crying child. Or to make a silenced child cry, either way. Yes, it is none other than I, Bluto. I was planning to drive off Redania, like I always do, but then this blasted pain in my back flared up out of nowhere. That blasted Unobo. When will he return? Who's Unobo? Unobo is a young Goron who helps me drive off Redania. He went to grab some painkillers for my back from the abandoned North Mine, but he hasn't come back yet. Mm. Slacker. I bet he's off somewhere wasting time. Hey, if you happen to see Unobo, let him know that I'm looking for him. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. 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 Okay. Yeah, but that's main quest, so hard pass. That will not be happening. Not for a while, anyway. Ow. I'm gonna go with Ow. I mean, the mushroom I have a lot of are these ones. I should be eating those. Fine. <laughs> Definitely not being targeted. So it's behind the towel, so I should probably throw a marker. I think it's that big one over there. Hang on. Ugh, I was just adjusting my armrests. I like this chair because you can swivel the armrests completely. So when I'm using a controller, it's just, it's super comfortable. Or if I'm drawing, like you can extend the armrests and it's pretty fancy.
yeah, so. This is what I'm looking at here. I just want to make sure there's nothing at the peak of that one. It's not this one, right? Uh, it's next one. Yep, yeah, so... This way... I'll just be glad to not have to wear this armor anymore. <laughs> Back to normal naked. That's a... Oh wait, it's still going. I was gonna say that's a little disappointing, but I guess this is... This is the thing that I was looking at. Hey, Messiah. Hope all of us have had a wonderful day so far. Ah, I'm I'm all right. Just wrapped up work. Pretty busy today, and we'll be busy tomorrow. But the long weekend is ahead, so I'm I'm happy for that. How uh, how are you doing today? I think I'm done here, right? Yeah. But Ah, oh, there's like, I guess, a little area here. This is all I wanted to check out, and then we'll move to the next area. <laughs> Today is, okay, birthday. I thought, you know, like, birthday? Like, what's birthday? Birthday. Well, happy birthday. You doing anything for it? Or waiting until the weekend. Oh shit. Uh, okay. Is that gonna work? I guess I didn't check under it, and that's always a possibility. I have a weird feeling today will... Wait, something will happen, but you have no idea what? Like, what makes you say, say that? Ominous. Something good, something bad. Can 
people are sus. <laughs> this supposedly depends who you interact with. Fly just on fire? Or do I imagine it? I saw smoke. Oh, and anyway, I hope you do have a good day with the birthday. thinking uh i mean i guess this is kind of uncovered but i just don't think there's anything there get some birthday nuggies I think I'm being too pedantic again. This whole area is probably empty. Forgot everything about that area. This this area is not bad. I I like it just because there's no there's no lightning or rain. You can just explore it freely. It's not as empty as some of the other areas. It's just I'm preventing what I know it's going to happen later. When I'm searching for the Koroks, it's just going to be desperation. I'm going to look at the map and look at areas that I didn't cover well. So at least here I can be like, alright, realistically, there's probably nothing there. Yeah, I, I hope they fine tune it in Tears of the Kingdom. It either has to be, it doesn't happen as often, or there's a climbing set we can use that lets us climb in the rain. It has to be one or the other. If they leave it as is, ugh. Uh, I would be surprised. It's just... I think it's definitely one of the larger things people complain about this game is the rain and the weapon durability are probably the two... Ah, you bad! Um, what was I saying? <laughs> Weapon durability and rain is are the two things that people complain about. In terms of mechanics. I mean, there's other things people complain about, but...
Yeah, I'm done. I'm done with this area now. I think I'm just gonna walk along here, and we're gonna head to the next area. There's not many shrines in the next area either, but also, um, it's pretty quick. A lot of them are in the Lost Woods. The durability of a weapon is like that of a two-edged knife. Yeah. I mean, at least combining the weapons is supposed to make them more durable in tiers, so we'll see. But some of the stuff, it just does not last long enough. It'd be cool if you could repair somehow. Use materials and take them to a blacksmith and then you, it repairs the item. I don't have a, an issue with durability, it's just the way it's implemented is a bit weird. It's durability and then your only recourse is to find a new weapon. It makes sense with the industry system, but it's also always annoying if something breaks. Get attached very quickly to weapons. Yeah, especially if you find one that's cool looking. Then you have to go to the effort of finding it again. I don't think durability systems are necessarily bad. It's just... Typically with durability comes a way to maintain weapons and... Um, you know, repair them, upgrade them, so then you form a stronger connection to the weapon that you're choosing to do all that stuff for. Like, that's the fantasy where durability makes sense, right? But just... Having them break and then it's just like, well, yeah, there's nothing you could do to prevent it. And if you want that weapon again, you're gonna have to go find it. You know, like, let's say you open a treasure chest and it's a cool looking weapon. The impact of finding that cool looking weapon inside that treasure chest is just, it's gone because it's just gonna break. So the big event of you finding that weapon and being excited by opening that treasure chest is just gone. It's just, well, there's no memory of this weapon again. It's it's a bit weird. And that's why I don't like treasure chests in this game, because it, it, they're just so anticlimactic. It's just, it's a weapon, money, or material. And the weapons, they break. So it's not like I form a connection to that treasure that I found. It's not treasure. <laughs> had a dream that um I went I went to I went to stream Tears of the Kingdom and then you know I, I booted it up and it was just they put a copy of Breath of the Wild instead of Tears of the Kingdom and people were just like upset <laughs> oh man Oh, 
I was like, what? There's nothing I can do. It's just like fucking... They, they, they fucked up. Amazon fucked up. What do you want me to do? I'll buy the game digitally. Give me a second. <laughs> Dreams are weird. Yeah. I mean, I have weird ones between what ifs and then there's just ones where I'm kind of aware I'm having a dream. But I'm just there for the ride. Yeah, they, they definitely removed the impact of finding a treasure chest. Treasure chests were... You'd find a heart piece or something related to the dungeon, and then the big treasure chests, one of them would be some new weapon that you would... that would change the way you play the game. Or you'd get attached to that weapon, I guess. There's, there's none of that here with treasure chests. It's just... I never feel like it's going to be a big moment. This is like, oh, it's another one of these things that's going to break eventually, and then I, it's gone. <laughs> it's just... I guess I have a choice. I can go to the base and start from the hill. Or I can go from the top and move my way downwards. I might just... Because I think from here... There's probably nothing. So I'll just continue along. The thing that I find strange about dreams is whenever I have a dream, it's always, it's never set, it's never set where I am currently, it's always in some previous area, if that makes sense. So like, if I'm gonna be at home, I'm gonna be where I used to live before here, but not where I am currently. It's never really about my current surroundings. I'm not sure if that says something about how I think. Like the streaming dream, it was definitely in the place that I lived previous to here. So it didn't make sense. That is your biggest criticism of the games. Weapon set chest, not feeling so epic, and the good old dungeon feeling. Yeah. I mean, it looks like they're going to return that. Just, it's possible, just looking at what they showed in that last trailer. I really hope it does return. Hyrule Castle was a cool area, and if they have more stuff like that, then uh, that's going to be good. But we'll see. The Divine Beasts were cool, but functionally they were all the same. It wasn't like a dungeon where, you know, the Ice Dungeon is distinctly different to the Forest one. In how you solve it. It's, it's pretty much the beasts are the same mechanic, it's just laid out in a different way. 
I mean, based off what I've seen from that last trailer, it, it looks like it's going to be way more varied this time. So... I'm hoping that what they showed for the desert, like that pyramid thing rising from the sand as a dungeon, and they also showed some part that looked like it was in the volcano here, um, which hopefully that's another one. And then they do a sky dungeon, maybe. I'm not sure what they could do for Zora's domain in terms of a dungeon, but... I would imagine, yeah, if they were to do them, those would be the areas. It's definitely the most uh, universally wanted thing, is just dungeons. Everyone you talk to. About Tears of the Kingdom, it's, you know, the very first thing they say is, man, I hope it has dungeons. It would, it would be so, uh... Yeah, I guess foolish. If they went and built this game and didn't do anything about making it feel like a dungeon. Because that just means that they really don't listen to feedback if, like, it's pretty overwhelming in terms of how many people want dungeons. Oh, look, the dragon's in the distance. I think here it's safe to take off the armor. Yeah, we're good. Alright, back to naked time. No need to wear the armor anymore. As I'm not really going beyond that area. Since I'm not going to be fighting Talus now. I guess the only other hope I have is just from a music perspective. They don't just reuse this and they have more classic compositions. I like it when they take music from the Super Nintendo or N64 era and just make it modern. That's why Link Between Worlds was so good. That soundtrack, definitely one of my favorites. Collector's edition of Breath of the Wild came with a CD. That was the soundtrack of the game. And you know what? I never listened to it, but I'm, I'm thinking, what would that even be? 
dude, surely it's it's just a, a few songs and not just the piano roll. Like this, just maybe a piano sound every few seconds. Hope you didn't miss anything important. Nah, I was just talking to myself. I was just saying the only other thing I, I want is the soundtrack. To have more classic renditions reimagined. More like a link between worlds soundtrack. Sorry, what? <laughs> For living life? Don't apologize. Never need to apologize. I am but a voice coming from a computer. Imagine all the costumes from this game will will carry over. I like yeah, the Gerudo thing. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be able to dress up that way again. Just I hope we don't have to do that that quest again. Like really? They're not going to accept Link in the second game. They're not going to be like, hey, after everything that happened in Breath of the Wild, you know, they accept Link. Are they really going to make us sneak into the town still? I don't know. But I imagine every everything you could dress up as in this game will be available. You would hope. It'd be weird if they didn't. Like, there'd be no reason why they couldn't include it. It's, I would imagine, the same assets in Game Engine. I don't know. Maybe that's a bit of armchair dev there, but... I, I definitely would find it weird. The soundtrack could improve back in the day. They were a lot better. I mean, this one is well composed, it's just there's not a lot of it. It's just... The piano thing is what people make fun of the most, it's just, oh... Just someone plays the piano once every 15 seconds. I'm not just the voice for a computer. Oh no, I, I know, like, I, I'm a person. I'm not saying I'm not a person. But in the context of other people's life, it's just like... If you have stuff to do in life, you don't have to apologize for not paying attention to me or being around. That's just like, ultimately, in the context of your life, I am but a voice coming from a computer. And other things take higher priority. There shouldn't be a need to be like, oh yeah, sorry. 
Because I would never really bring that up, you know? I wouldn't be like, oh man, how dare you? It's just, it's not right. <laughs> how dare you leave me talking on my own? Not pay attention to the streamer. But yeah, I do appreciate the uh, the thought. It's the thought that counts. I mean, listen. If some if you got a phone call and you knew on the other side. It was going to be someone who's about to give you some chicken nuggets. Understandable that you just leave immediately. The one thing you hope for is a big upgrade with the graphics. Like Breath of the Wild, this stylus and looks amazing, but the Switch is really holding back the second game from going hard. Yeah, it's not going to be a graphics change too much. I imagine the engine will be better in some regard, but the graphical update, it's just because it's on the same console and... You know, this is effectively like how Majora's Mask was to um, Ocarina, where it's just the same engine and assets and everything. It's not, there's no, there's no graphical improvement that's going to happen. I mean, this, this looks good for a Switch game, and at the end of the day, it's like, this is probably as good as Switch games can get. The next, like... It's a graphic style. Like, you could go as realistic as something like Xenoblade Chronicles, right? But that's realistic looking, and it looks good. Zelda could do that, but then, you know, the artistic choice is they want it to look like this. It's not realistic. They don't want the realistic look, but they could probably achieve it if they wanted to. I can't believe I haven't come ac across a Korok here. Especially the parts where there's trees. And based off some of the stuff they've shown in the trailer, there's going to be visually impressive looking things. It's just, yeah, I mean, I don't look for, I don't look at the Switch, or I guess Nintendo in general, for doing ultra-realism and the best of graphics. It's just, it's, it's been a very long time since, uh, they last did that. Like, being known for top tier. Best out of everyone graphics. So, I never expect that from them. Listen, it could be worse. We, we could get graphics from, like, the Pokemon games. <laughs> I am grateful that the graphics in this game are what they are. The HD mods on PC go crazy. It's unrealistic for a portable console game, but at least it's not Pokemon Game Freak level. Yeah. No, I mean... They... Yeah, that's the thing. They, they can, but at the end of the day, like, they've always had hardware that's underpowered, right? Because they... I guess they want to make a certain amount of money and price the console lower than everyone else. So there's a bit of a restriction on, on how much this can do. And the fact that it has to be portable now is like another can of worms. So. I think that, that this game is a good example of graphics on the Switch done right from a stylistic point of view. But, you know, games that point out just how realistic and good stuff will look. Xenoblade Chronicles is probably one of the best examples where it's like that is pushing what you can do on the Switch. Pokemon should go back to 2D. Is that a hot take? 
But you know what? Even even two like even two D, I find that it's still they're not do they're not doing the same level of polish that say a two D Zelda or a two D Mario game would. You know what I mean? It's like even in the context of that, I feel like Game Freak just kind of relies on the fact that Pokemon games are just going to sell, so they they don't bother. I don't know. I know the pe some people might be upset with that, but you look at their track record in terms of visuals, like, you know, here's some of the examples I can give, right? Like, NPCs being reused, like, for a particular trainer, they just use, they reuse that trainer over and over again. As, there's nothing wrong with that, like, there are RPG games, for example, that will use the same base NPC model, but at least they give it variety. You know, they'll they'll change its clothing, they might change its hair color, they'll do something different. Whereas in Pokemon, it's like, nah, it's literally the same carbon copy, copy-paste, the same NPC that you're fighting against. And there's just like eight of them or something. It, there's probably more than eight, but I'm just saying that to be dramatic, right? Um, you know, if they ever need to do anything where they need to do a cutscene or a character doing an action, like something as simple as eating... They'll, they'd rather fade to black. They'll fade the screen to black, and then they'll bring up a text box that says, Oh, you know, they did this. Instead of actually animating it. And that's both in 2D and 3D that they do that. And, yeah, I mean, it's one of the world's largest franchises. and I, I, I'm pretty sure it's the largest kids franchise. It's literally a billion dollars billion dollar industry the pokemon business and yet visually they're the least polished nintendo franchise that they, they just they don't do nearly the amount of polish that like the people that work on zelda the people that work on mario any other nintendo franchise it doesn't matter which one does way more attention to detail and polish in graphics. I love po I love the Pokemon games, right? Like I'm not shitting on them. Um right. Lots of fun childhood memories and I got into it again as an adult and I do enjoy them. I've played most of them. All right. But, you know, I want them to be better, and that's why I say this stuff, is like, you can definitely love stuff and critique it. Animal Crossing was banging graphics. Yeah, see, they could do something where it's not visually complex, but it's stylistically nice, like Animal Crossing. All the other franchises should have lower quality. <laughs> Just lower the bar, and then Pokemon won't seem that bad. But then Nintendo will seem bad compared to everything else. I don't know. I think my biggest issue with it is just, like, the sheer amount of money they make from it. And I think this, this all started to... A massive spotlight was shown on this when... You know, they had they came out and they had the goal to say, okay, listen, there's too many Pokemon. We're going to focus on quality now, but we're not going to put all the Pokemon in from now on. And so people were like, okay, we can accept that reasoning if you're going to improve quality. But they didn't. <laughs> like, look at what we've gotten since. So it's just made, it's made it stand out a lot more. And that's their own fault. It's like people are scrutinizing the visuals more. Because they they said that was the reason they're not putting every single Pokemon in the game anymore. So they brought it upon themselves that people are analyzing their visuals. <laughs> Pokemon is being lazy. Time to shut down Smash Brothers. Oh man. I mean, can definitely see something like that happening. Baffling decisions. Yeah, 
happy. I'm, I'm happy about this game and its visuals. There'll definitely be an improvement. Uh, based on the trailers, you can, I can already see some things that are new and look pretty visually good. I just don't think the world's going to change that much. I think all that's going to change, and I'm hoping that's the case, is like... There were certain areas in this game that had performance issues. And hopefully you would think in the last six years or so... Um, they've improved the engine to the point where that doesn't happen. And yeah, maybe it's not gonna... It's not going to be, um, that much of a graphical difference, like... But maybe performance will be a bit more, um, consistent. Did they improve the housing system? Housing system? I mean, the, the systems they've addressed, durability is like through weapon combination, so it makes weapons last longer. And then, I mean, they've addressed sandbox issues more or less, but anything else it remains to be seen. They really haven't talked a lot about this game in detail. So, a lot of it is just, like, a big question mark. At the very least, you know, one of my concern was that because they hadn't shown too much of it, I was worried that maybe that reasoning was because maybe the content of this game feels more like a DLC as opposed to a... a true sequel, but I think that's not the case. Based off that last trailer they showed, it was just, yeah. There, there, there's a lot that that is gonna happen. Be careful with this one. No, 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 no! Oh, shit. Wait, no, I'm still on the tree. I'm still on the tree. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It didn't reset. Oh, it reset. I think it reset. Oh, no, it's fine. It saved it. If Zelda was a free-to-play open-world gacha, they'd probably be making ten times the money they were going to make in the long term. Yeah, but thankfully they, they haven't reached that level of cooperation where that matters to them. I think they still have... I wouldn't say ethics, but like... I guess they want the public image of their games being crafted masterpieces. That That's the reason you purchase their consoles. And they wouldn't want it to become, you know, something like the Gacha games, because then it becomes too similar to what's already out there on other consoles, so it's kind of like, there's no distinct reason to get a Nintendo game. Whereas in right now, it's like, well, when you pick up a Nintendo game, it's kind of reliable that you're not going to deal with that shit, and you get something that's crafted. Whether, you know, it, it's a really good game, or something that's average it's it doesn't matter it's not like one of these live service games that effectively they're designed in a very different way and a lot of companies are doing them so they start to blend in with one another so they could very well do that but i think the reason they don't is just because they the way they do their games is what pushes their hardware sales like honestly if nintendo games were more like you know, the standard AAA loot box, maybe free to play and, you know, progression is hindered by convenience microtransactions. I probably wouldn't buy their consoles because there'd be no reason to buy their consoles anymore. Shit. 
Oh, that's cool. Just appear behind me. Well, it's been a while since I died, so fine. <laughs> they those those things just appear in the most random of spots. I've had one appear just on a cliff in this tiny corner where it could barely fit me. Just appeared alongside with me. Just go all the way to the end. Wait, the Lionel's down here, isn't he? Yeah. I mean, I've already fought it once. I don't want to fight it again. I got nothing to prove. I, I beat it. First try. No death. I'll probably just waste weapons if I go fight it again. Oh, piss off. I'm taking your bow, you dick. I can't. <laughs> I like that you can do that. Just carry the skull away from the body. That's the other thing that, um... I'd be willing to bet that they've worked on a bit more as just the little things that happen in between exploration and just little intricacies that make you feel more connected with the world here. Because there's so much stuff that is, is very minor and it just adds to the charm of the game and I imagine there's going to be more of that stuff. One thing that stops you from playing this game is because it's good. After you finish everything on Master Mode, collect everything. You want to play more because the game is good, but it's limited by the fact that it isn't designed to be played beyond that point. Yeah, but, you know, it goes to the old saying, all good things must come to an end. That's just like a reality of life. Even these games that have been designed to have like a, a post game. At the end of the day, it's like that still comes to an end. Um... And honestly, memories where it's, you know, a limited experience and then it's, I guess, it, it just comes to an end. There's something about it. Like, nothing lasts forever. That's even something where you could design something where the player has the potential of playing it every day for the rest of their life. They won't, you know? I don't think that that's a good reason to not try something, for me anyway. Like, having the fear of it ending. Take that back, your Animal Island... <laughs> your Animal Crossing Island will last forever. Have you logged into it every day? And will you log into it every day when the new game comes out? Like, everything has an expiry date, whether it's through you eventually getting tired of it, or the game naturally coming to an end, or just a result of the system of capitalism that we live in, where uh, something new will come out and grab your attention, right? It's just like, I would never want to experience a game just because I'm like, oh, I shouldn't play this because it's going to end. If you applied that logic to everything, like, you just wouldn't do anything. I'm not gonna watch TV shows because they end. 
I'm not going to watch a movie because they end. I'm not going to eat food because I run out of food and then my plate is empty. What about what about the stream here? The stream is going to end at some point. I'm going to go offline. I'm going to go to sleep. I'm not going to be live anymore. Does this does it make it any less worth watching? <laughs> No! Well, it's true. I'm just getting all philosophical here. That's sobering. Technically, those games that constantly get updated also technically have expired date. It may be longer. And games that are designed to end at some point, but it still ends. Exactly. They all end. And, you know, the other thing is, there's also a thing as a, a resurgence, right? Is like, this is not the first time I'm playing this game, right? And I have my memories of when I played it the first time. And th that's something that I won't get to experience again, but I treasure the first time I played this game. I have mem a set of memories for it. But with this playthrough, you know, I, I have new memories for it that I've made. And that's one of the things with games that end, is like, you can pick that up again at some point in the future, and you can appreciate it in a different way. That you might not have... You know, you might it might not have caught you the first time. But then the second time around, you know, you see a detail or maybe something you missed or maybe something you didn't enjoy before, it changes because it's the second time you're experiencing it. So, I don't know. No matter how many times you play Korok Seeds, will never be enjoyable. That's fair. That's, uh, that's a fair critique. Me, it's more about the challenge and the completionism aspect. And just... People enjoy the yeah ha ha But actually finding them, I know. Especially given the reward for finding all 900 of them. It's it's a pretty big joke. It is, it is quite a joke. Yep. Triple kill! Oh, that meat looks good, though. That's what they get for trying to attack me. I've had stuff happen in this playthrough that never happened to me in the original one, and... I mean, there's also the memory now of the fact that I'm streaming it properly, so... This... This is something that I'll remember for a different reason than the initial playthrough I did. Like... Is Whistle Running still in the game? You know, I never did that. I've heard of it. Probably. I just... Even if it was in the game, I'm too lazy. Wait, where am I? Oh, yeah, okay, I know where I am. That's, uh, I need to go in there. That's the shrine.
gonna involve stealth. Because I had rat things randomly falling through the map. Uh, maybe on my first playthrough, not this one. I've had a bunch of random stuff happen. Like, characters not rendering. The cobblins appearing out of thin air. <laughs> Apple trees not growing back their fruit for a ridiculous long period of time. Lightning striking without me wearing anything. So. The ancient arrows for me are just if I ever get ganged up on, because the way I'm... I'm playing this. You know, I have three hearts. I get one shot. It's kind of annoying when you come across four of, uh... Of the guards. And it's just... Okay, well, it's enemy spam at this point. I'm just gonna use the ancient arrows to make it a 1v1. But other than that, haven't really used them. It's just more or less to get out of obnoxious situations. I'm not good enough to do speed running. <laughs> but you have to be really, really creative. And good at execution. I'd rather be known for... Entertainment as opposed to skill. I mean, there are games that... I'm alright at. But I don't think I'll ever be... The voice of a game, you know? Like, the authority. Or a, a authority. surprise this area is so empty. It's more empty than the uh, the tip of the volcano. The volcano has more than this. It's alright. Later I won't be driven crazy thinking, oh I need to go explore all these areas. I think I've gotten that one already. seen the rain in uh in a few days that i've been in this area but ugh. i do i do hope they they've tweaked rain whether it's indirectly by having gear that allows you to actually climb in the rain or just by making it not rain as much it's something needs to get done Oh shit, there's another Lionel here. 
Because it's just one of those things, like... Name a time where you would want it to be raining. Rain is just straight up progression hindrance and nothing else. At least in other Zelda games, like, you would do things with rain to some degree. The dragon spawning thing. What's the dragon spawning thing? This is probably something I'm unaware of. And I guess the other thing is, like, even if it is a, a positive thing, is this something that the general player base is going to be aware of, or is this something specialist that you, if you didn't look it up, you wouldn't know it existed? I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Like, in terms of general gameplay, there isn't really a time you would want rain. It needs to be raining to spawn one of the dragons. No. Um, let's see. The fire one can spawn here, or over here. Um, the one in the jungle, it's just nighttime, so it's somewhere here. It just needs to be, I believe, like 3 a.m., something like that. And then Lanayru is just, I forget what time, but it, it's over here. I mean, there's, prob there's probably other spots, but the spots that I know of, they don't require rain at all. You might be right, but I don't think it's... It's probably because the one you were farming with the campfire usually had rain. That might be the case, yeah. But I don't think it's required. And I guess even if it was, I don't think the majority of people would be aware of that. It's not an obvious thing. It's not like, you know, you get hinted in that direction, right? There's nothing that uh, an NPC would be like, gee, if only if it was raining, then you'd be able to do this. Like, that just doesn't exist. Rain is just this thing that happens that it's purely there just to hinder you and nothing else. It's not used to progress. It's not used to get a secret. Like, there's no... There's nothing where you have to wait for it to rain. It's just, lol, it's raining. This is going to be harder for you. Sucks to be you. You're going to, you're going to slip. You're going to get struck by lightning. Ha 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 ha. And it's going to going to happen very often it's gonna stop raining and then there's a chance that five minutes later it's gonna start raining again yeah ha ha the only area that makes sense where there's constant rain is Zora's domain because there's a story behind why so that, that's more forgivable. But I can't, I can't begin to even quantify how many times where I've just been exploring. It starts raining and then it's like, well, I can't do this anymore. I either have to put down a campfire to fast forward time so I can continue what I was doing. Or I just have to wait. Or just abandon what I'm doing and doing like do it later. It's just I don't think it's a good system. And I can't believe that the climbing gear, its set bonus wasn't, hey, you can climb in the rain.
Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Wow, that's a lot of wolves. Forgot to change it. It's not that. It is skull for no skull for Lionel. There we go. Yeah, I don't think the traveling merchants offering discounts is enough. Rain does help farm some fish and lizards can also do six shield surfing speeds. Yeah, but it's nothing that you, the player, would actively seek out. Those are just, like, little nuances that if if you didn't discover them yourself or read them about, read about them, right, or notice them to begin with, they would go undiscovered, you know what I mean? Like, the, the game doesn't make you aware that this shit exists. Or at least in a way that's, you know, very obviously something you come across. Like, take, take the Blood Moon, um, for example. You could argue that the Blood Moon's annoying, but then there's a shrine that involves a Blood Moon, and a puzzle that involves a Blood Moon. So, it, it's like, okay. And there's lore around it to some degree. Rain just doesn't have any of that. Whenever it happens, it's just, okay, it's this thing that's just here. To hinder me. Its primary reason of existing is to hinder me, not to provide like a solution or a way to maybe experience something that I couldn't experience before. Nope, just purely here to hinder me. Primary reason is to hinder me. It might have some other side effects, sure, but its primary design mechanic is hinder the player. Oh, I thought I survived. Well. It's fine. Gee, I'm dying in stupid ways today. I blame the Korok. I was looking for it. Oh, come on. Yep, see? Yep. Yep, this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is hindering me from something really, really minor instead of blocking me from something significant. Finally. Okay, off we go. I suppose the other thing they could do is just make it not... Make it not take up too much stamina when you slide down. Is it dragon time? Is that what that wind is? Or is it just general wind? Because the dragon usually does travel along this back area. No. Okay. Lightning. Yeah, look, lightning's not going to strike twice. I'm not going to get struck by lightning randomly again. It's already happened once. I doubt I'll, I'll get hit a second time. 
Jinx. Well, yeah, I mean, then it's a bit of a self-fulfilling prophecy. But, you know, I had never had that happen in all the hours that I played. It was funny that it happened minutes after talking about it, though. I will acknowledge it was, uh, it's pretty funny. And see, it's of course it's only me that it happens to. I'm being a little too pedantic with the land checking. I heard the bat, that's why I dropped it. I'm not going to travel through here, because that's, that's bad. Oh, that's lucky, it stopped raining. Let's head to the the shrine. And then I'll do the uh the left side of it afterwards. I think this area is not gonna have a lot of Korok in it. going to be pretty boring. Because <laughs> you have that massive part in the middle that it's kind of just hills and nothing else. And then the, the Lost Woods and also that area where here. Yeah, it's just there's too much of, uh, land that you can't really do much with.
I wonder if they're going to make these camps more interesting. Again, it just comes down to... It's, it's a treasure chest, and the treasure chest is going to be a material... A weapon that's going to break, or money. And that's... that's it. This... And Master Mode just... I'm going to lose way too many weapons just to get that. It's just never worth it. Well, this is just bad timing. Everything wants to attack me. Ah, well, looks about right. Okay. Stop! I just walked away from a group of you. Okay. That wolf took one tip for the team. say it. Everything is fine. Oh yeah, right. Unequipped. I'll just wait. I'm moving. Ah. Trying to get more comfortable. Oh, really? It was just one? Okay. Yeah, ha, ha. Three, three, three. Getting there, getting there. Link, please, just walk. the foxes. The foxes are super polite. They just exist. The most chill of animals. I mean, the birds fly away. But they don't hurt you. With the exception of that ostrich looking thing.
I guess we go in here for now. Wait, where's the entry? Oh, it's over there. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just go up this way. Okay, I see one there already. That log sticking up as a Korok. Okay, let's do this. I can't remember if this Korok, but anyway. Traveler from beyond these woods, you are faced with a trial. Find the shrine hidden in these dark ruins. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to... I, mean, I, don't, I don't have to because... Oh, yes I do. They've... Ooh. I mean, okay, I mean, this isn't that important, the Cobble Crusher. It's good, but it's... I can leave it.
They're gonna come back, aren't they? This is kind of annoying. You can also use this as a light source. Well, it's not as good, it still works. Ooh, frame rate dip. Right, I forgot about that aspect too. That's just bad timing. Oh shit. Oh, that was close. No, don't put it away. And I need I need the fire. Go, go, go. I definitely shouldn't have walked away from those birds. I just was figured it would lead me in the right direction, but it's okay. That's fire. And this thing just does not give up. Following the edge at this point to get back to the start. Ah, oh, that's bullshit. Because I stepped up on something, it, it registered, I'm putting the torch away.
Okay, I'm not sure this perimeter strategy is working. Where is he? Uh? Definitely butchered this. Oh, okay, hang on. We have bird. Okay, follow bird. Okay, we're back on the track of birds. I'm back on the trail. No, 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 back up, back up, back up, back up, back I know what I need to do. I need to steal the ball from the high knocks. <laughs> yeah, okay. This should be obvious now. Saving. I think I can get much higher. The stealth, though. Okay, there we go. I don't think that's high enough still. Yeah, still not high enough. Okay, this tree might be. Take the orb. Fine. I guess if I'm gonna have to fight, I'm gonna have to fight. I hate that I have to do this, but you know, it is what it is. Um, I guess the 45R. No, let's use Fireblade.
this Hinox I have to fight. Shit. <laughs> I died on the shrine. Uh, I mean, preferably if I... If I can avoid fighting, I'll I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it that way. But I almost had it. Really? I was gonna say. Okay, there's the tree. Let me have a look around. See if there's anything that offers me a higher vantage point. I accidentally blew myself up. That was a dumb death. Dumb ways to die. You know, I have a torch. Why don't I use the torch? Completely lost there for a sec. I'm lost. See a light source. Okay, we're here. <laughs> I've never been good at stealth in games, just for the record, for those that don't know. It's never been a strong suit. Why? Then say it's climb. I was trying to light. Why are the inputs so temperamental sometimes? I just want to see what's going on. That's all. See what kind of a vantage point I can get. They'll go up in a minute. Well. Wow. What did it throw that exploded? I'll wait.
I mean, you would think this is the tray that's closest. Someone said to step in its hand. I've never tried that before. Yeah, no, we have to fight this thing. Oh shit, I'm kinda... Where am I? Hi. <laughs> shit. Yeah, that was, uh, that was not great. Awkward camera's awkward. What is that ominous red light? Camera, please. Really? Uh, you know what? You know it would have been worse if I killed this thing and then immediately it got back up because of this. So... I'm gonna- I'm gonna be annoyed if this heals it. Did it heal it? Okay, good. Yeah, well. First Hinox kill, I guess. Where's the thing? Oh, there it is. Double torch.
Beyond that, I don't think there's much else to do here. I don't think there's a single Korok in these ruins just because it's you can't see it. Get the Wawai. Or is it Keto? I could die it. Already worthy, yeah. Oh, I mean, I guess I'll keep the torch for now, but. I will ditch it first opportunity. Four. <laughs> Very slow going in fa as uh, shrines go today. I guess I should go do the uh, the Lost Woods. The ones revolving around the Lost Woods. Oh, it doesn't even put me outside. That's a little annoying. So I guess with this we go the opposite is true. I feel like this, this area should have just uh, removed the dark curse once you beat it. Okay, so if I follow this perimeter, I should be able to go outside. Just keep walking. Like nothing's the matter. Eventually this will lead back to the start. I 
I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. Oh shit. Ooh. Hey, there we go. Daylight. <laughs> yeah. Feels good to be out in the day. For the life of me, I can't remember if this is a thing. No, it's not. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. We're back, it's fine. I'm just making sure, I just looked a little suspicious. Okay, uh... It's, it's sometimes you gotta take a shot, you know? You miss all the shots you don't take. I just want to make sure that around the perimeter of this it's all sorted before going to the Lost Woods. Which, yeah, I mean, seems like it's okay. This spot seems like an ideal candidate for a pay-to-win break. I'm trying to get all the cosmetics from the pay-to-win cards. <laughs> just the cosmetics, not any sort of advantage. It's just later if I, I guess I can pick an outfit. Let's try this one. See if I get anything. If I don't, I'll load. It's ice arrows. All right, nope. That's an advantage, loading. As long as it's not an advantage. This is supposed to... So I, I put the Wind Waker one in. But this is how you do it. It's, it's a little annoying. Beesh. There you go. Alright, so that's... A wind, the Wind Waker, um, tunic. Yeah. But you know, we're not wearing it yet. <laughs> I will wear the heroes, one of the hero outfits at the end. Can pick which one. I just grabbed the, uh, the outfit and not the, uh, 
the rest of the stuff that fell out of the sky. No, wrong thing. Yep. Should have checked if my sword was was back at the entrance. I doubt it would have been, but eh. It's no biggie. Alright, we're going to the Lost Woods. The land of the Yahahas. I believe there's only Korok in the central area. Everything else is just nothing. This was a little bit of a mistake coming down here. <laughs> oh, come on, really? This doesn't look like a surface he would struggle to run up. down the hill. <laughs> hey, Colorant, how's it going? How's your morning? Good, but you did not want to get out of bed. I know that feeling. Have you at least had coffee? goes Breath of the Wild, how far in foot am I? I mean, depends what perspective you look at it. In terms of progressing the story, not very far at all in terms of everything else. It's a uh, third of the way. <laughs> Roughly. Maybe less. Yeah.
Oh shit, I forgot to turn off the warrior thing. I'm not doing the warrior thing today because my voice is a little scratchy and doing it kind of hurts after a while. I'm hoping I don't get sick because I got, I got something to do tomorrow. Um, hang on, let me hide it. Before it gets requested again. Well, no, I just rede I just redeemed it. I'm sorry, refunded it. So you get the points back. Um, affiliate. Where is it? I'm taking a moment out of this to do this. Oh, there it is. Jeez, yeah, see, this is how. Nah, uh, and just turn that off temporarily. They'll be back later. I need to, uh... Yeah, I've had tea, so... I've been drinking tea. I should be okay. I just don't want to push it. Oranges. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, it's like almost nine o'clock at night, so to go buy that stuff, it's a bit of an effort. But if I am feeling worse tomorrow, I'll do it. Yeah, I had um, tea with honey, so. But that's, that's the thing. It's only, it's only the throat that just feels a bit scratchy. Other than that, everything's fine. Nothing else. So it could be that I just wake up and tomorrow's okay. Wait, chips? No, we call them chips. Australians are weird, like... We call potato chips chips, but we also called fries chips as well. But at no point does anyone ever get confused. We know what we're talking about. I mean, if you think about it, right, if I tell you, you know, if you're going to the supermarket and I tell you, like, you know, get a bag of frozen chips, you know what I'm talking about. And if I say get a bag of just chips, typically people will, would assume you mean potato chips. Or you just say potato chips. I don't know. If you have a burger and chips, it's, it's, you know, fries. You assume fries. I've never, ever had a situation where the wrong thing has been conveyed. You like chips on your burger. As in, you put them inside, like, you left the bun and then put some... some in there. You know, they do that with stuff like, uh... Sivlaki's here. There's nothing weird about that. Just that base, I think. I'll double check. I'll just fly around it. Or I could do this and just steal. 
Yeah, that works. Got it. Easy. And then there's no incentive to do the rest of it. Cal was my day. Pretty, pretty busy. I had a lot going on work-wise. And it'll be the same tomorrow, so... That's why I'm trying to watch it, because I do need to talk quite a bit tomorrow. But, long weekend after that, so... Looking forward to it. I was saying earlier that I had a dream where I was, uh... I was going to stream Tears of the Kingdom, you know, it was Tears of the Kingdom Day. And I got the game, I put the game in, and then they they had placed a Breath of the Wild cartridge instead. And then people were like, oh my god, just like, had to defend it. Like, chat, oh, I'll go buy it digitally, just, just give me a minute, please. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Brain's weird. So the whole thing was just me trying to get Tears of the Kingdom to work the whole time, but it just... Some technical issue, like I either can't buy it or whatever. It's just, that's what it was. I'm playing too much Zelda, I dream about it. No, I mean, that happens. If I'm doing something, brain tries to continue it. Whoops. I'll just do whatever shrines are associated with here. I hope I'm interpreting this correctly. I think I am, because I would have gotten kicked back to the entrance if I was wrong. Yeah, I mean, this is going off, so that's a good sign. I think from this point, it's just straight ahead. Place in the whole game. 
I hope they fix this. Who's ready for 15 FPS? Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll get that eventually. Kierug. Kierug. Yeah, this is the one I was thinking of, so this is the Constellation one. Kyorug. Okay, um... Right, so there's the answer. Okay, so the little three. Five. Wait, where are the, uh, the orbs? Oh, here they are. One, I think. And the other one is two. I think. Yeah. I can't be bothered doing the other one. <laughs> the reward's not great. Let's just... There's a second one to do, but eh. That's how many now? I mean, getting close to the halfway mark. 55. Alright, so almost at 60. And it is the 20th of April, so looking, looking good, I think, for time. They're okay numbers. I can't for the life of me remember if there was a Korok. I don't think there are any in here. I think this is the one area. Oh, uh, you know what? Maybe at the top of the tree. Yeah, I hope I can get it done in time. I've been playing a lot of this lately and haven't really been mixing it up too much. With the exception of Vampire Survivors, like, before most people get here.
Hey, no, Link. What time do people start coming in? I mean, there are some people here at the start, but generally peak is like 9, 10 p.m. my time. Because of course. Just anything earlier than that, it's it's pretty quiet. Oh, crap. This is the one that wants... Yeah, ultimate trial, yep. Okay. Small, round, and sweet, this is a treat. Okay, I might I might be able to... I don't remember what some of these objects are, but let's just try. So, let's do that, let's... Hey, let's... No, just... I was trying to put it on there. <gasps> apple. It's an apple. That's it. That's it. You got it. The next riddle is... Kakariko's Village Specialty Fruit. Rock Hard Flesh is quite resolute. <gasps> Fortified Pumpkin. That's it. That's it. You got it. Ahem. Next riddle is... The sultry shrooms that'll warm your bones. It... I might be able to do this. Um... Sunshroom. Sunshroom, that's it, that's it, you got it. Ahem. The next riddle is, its scales and tail will zap you in a doubt. This shocking swimmer is called a fish. Um, zap fin, which I'm not sure I have, but we'll see. Vault fin. I got one. Beesh. Vault fin trout. That's it. That's it. You got it. Ahem. If you stepped on this... If you get stepped on this, you'll go poof. Oh, yeah. It's a Lionel poof. That's it. Hoof. Knew you could do it, Mr. Hero. Here's your reward. A diamond! Fresh out of wood riddles, okay. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's done. Yeah, ha, ha. I don't think there's any core up in this area. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense. There are, but there aren't. There's no yahaha, you found me. Okay, let's, let's go do the other quest. The first time around, I did not get the pumpkin. I had to go on a journey to get the pumpkin. Okay, let me see. So... There's one shrine in each quadrant, from memory.
I think I may have picked the stealth mission one. Maybe. Hang on, let me look. Or is this the exit? No, it can't be the exit. Yeah, this is the stealth mission one. <laughs> ah. A Hylian seeks to attempt the Korok trial. Is that even allowed? Who cares? Are you here to attempt my Korok trial? Of course. Oh yeah. uh, wow, you really want to try it? I guess it was worth asking after all. Let me tell you about the trial. All you need to do is keep going and not get lost in the mist. Easy, right? What's wrong? You just you don't look very excited. But don't worry, I've got a cryptic little hint for you. The hungry trees will show you the way. Spy their iron to win the day. Oh no, this is a different one. Didn't I make it sound cool? Think ab think about that as you take the trial. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Gets concerned when I pull out the bomb. That's that's funny. That's more difficult. I forget which one, but one of them is is pretty annoying to do. Oh, oh, I see. Do I need the shield? I can't remember. I think I do. I think I need to put it in the mouth. Oh, crap. No, it's the wrong, it's the wrong one. There you go. They can't follow me in here. Um, I don't think it's that simple. I think I need to hang on. Because if it was, I'd be able to use ice. Let me just see what I need to do. I need to ferry something across, but I forget what. Chat oh I just opened the chest though. Um but this should still work, I think. I wonder if it matters if I I don't think it does. I think it's just, it's okay. There we go. Imagine there's just like, you thieving dickhead. I'm not gonna, that's it, game over. You don't get a shrine. Where's, where's my treasure? Okay, accepted.
Considage. I am already worthy. I think. Yeah. Might be able to get to 60 today. Fifty six. We need to leave here. I think the easiest way is just to walk out this way. And then listen to Link. <laughs> what happens to him? There we go. Okay, let me try and get another pay to win cosmetic. I should save before I do it though. I just want to collect the, uh, the armor sets from these cards. Let's see if I get one from this. Bunch of meat, but I'm not taking the meat. Nope. It's ice arrows. That's an advantage. It can't be something that gives me an advantage. It has to be a piece of clothing. That's it. So the one that I'm doing is the Ocarina of Time, so this will be Ocarina of Time clothing. Oh. I, mean, I, I guess? Just do this again. I kind of want the one from Twilight Princess. If it has all the textures, that's the best looking Link. Mate shower. Nope. Alright, I'll do one more. One more. One more raffle. <laughs> I think I can do it here as well. It doesn't have to be where I did it. No? There we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's okay, it's metallic. That's why it's metallic. In the event that shit like that happens. All right, clothing. There we go. We got the tunic of time.
I guess next we go to this quadrant. I think this is the exit here. Maybe. Guess not. Okay. Which one is this one? Yeah, this is the stealth one. Oh, you. You're Mr. Hero, right? You're going to do the Korok trial. Yes, yes? I knew it. I'd like to ask you a favor, then. My little Oki just set off to do the Korok trial. Normally, I'd go along, too, but Oki insisted on going alone. I let Oki go, but, well, I'm just getting worried. Could you please follow Oki without being seen? I want to be sure nothing bad happens. Yeah, this is a... Uh, stealth mission. I hate it. <laughs> What's the recipe? Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Stealth mission begins. The first time I did this, I did not have food prepared, so... And some of the stuff is just scripted to make it sound like it's worse than what it is. <laughs> Coffee time? Enjoy. Let it wake you up. I mean, this is the hint right here, is like it's, it's giving you nightshade so then you can craft stealth food. It's okay, I'm, I'm wearing the perfect camouflage. Yeah! Oh, come on. I hate this quest. <laughs> I'm just bad at stealth. I get impatient. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm not even near you! Go forward! Go forward! 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 Go forward! Forward. I remember this tree.
forward. Go forward. my pink panther sneaking music. I don't know why I referenced that. That, that show is just so well before my time. It's just, it used to be on daytime TV here, so sometimes when I was home from school that show would be on. And I didn't watch it. It's just, I was disappointed by that show because the opening would be a cartoon panther, but then the show itself wasn't a cartoon. You're always looking for the Cartoon Panther as a kid. <laughs> Same. It's... A lot of kids would have gotten swindled by that show. Just the, the disappointment in waiting for the cartoon to start. And then it just never did. Taking the meat. Shit. Oh, gah! I couldn't see it. This is the infuriating thing about this is just... It sucks because it takes so long to get there. I genuinely could not see it. It just blended well into its surroundings. Unfortunately, there's no way to make it stand out. I tried stasis, I tried magnesis, it just doesn't offer enough contrast. Thank you. 
have to be patient. Because this scripted things. The tree branch falls and then comes back this way. Alright, I need to eat more stealth. I went with high stealth now. I want to get this done. Funny thing is it teaches you how to get to the shrine without following the core arc at the end of it. Now it'll fake it out and run back. I was so close to the end as well. That's the worst part. That was the worst. I could have gotten there if I had seen it. I just, I lost track of it. Where's scripted wolf? Just let it go all the way. <laughs> okay, I think I got it. Pending any stupid thing that could happen at the last possible second. I have to let it reach it. Okay, there. I think that's it. Yep, that's it. We got it. Yeah, I made it. I finished the trial. Oh, wow, who's that? Hey. Are you that hero guy? You know, Mr. Hero? Guess what, Mr. Hero? I did the trial all by myself. Aren't I brave? Oh, yeah. You're probably here for the shrine. The Great Deku Tree said that the monk's blessing is waiting in the shrine ahead. Why don't you go take a look? There we go. And then the Korok reveals, Oh yeah, if you ever need to come back here, just follow the flowers. And so you didn't have to follow the Korok the whole time. Already worthy.
I am dog choker. I like to choke dags. Do you like dags? No? That's, that's not a good joke, is it? <laughs> uh... Dags! Do you like dags? Fifty-seven. Okay. I'm going to try and get another pay to win cosmetic. This time it's the Twilight Princess one. Wrong thing. Can't drop. Oh, yeah, I can. No, there we go. There we go. Wait, no. <laughs> Dropped melons out of the sky. Fingers crossed. Nope, that's an advantage. Don't want anything that gives me an advantage. Reload the the save point. No, that's a shield. Though, admittedly, not one that gives much of an advantage. I'm doing pay to win wrong. What? What am I doing wrong? How should I be doing this to be uh, pay to winning correctly? Oh, come on. This is kind of the one that I want the most because the, the, if the tunic is as detailed as it is in Twilight Princess, it, it'll probably look cool. I could probably get the chest to fall on my head for comedy's sake, you know? <laughs> that would be funny. Like if I was to, uh... Do this. Right? And then... <laughs> it it does hurt. Not a lot, but it, it does hurt. Hey I guess that's the that's the secret is get the chest to fall on your head and it's exactly what you're looking for. It's not as detailed though as the Twilight Princess one. I mean you can, yeah, there's there's visual difference, but it's it doesn't have the same texture. Okay. Well, wait, we are removing it for the time being. But yeah, not picking up anything that gives me an advantage. It's just these cosmetics that eventually they, they all do the same thing, the hero 
armor. You just get to pick which one you want to wear. The next one's interesting because it's it's a strange set. Because it's the Majora's Mask one. I'm all grown up now. We did a great job on the trial. I was cool and composed the whole time. The last one is um, the survival one. Okay. And then, yeah, this area's done. We will not return here until uh, Master Sword time. This area is nice though because it plays music. It makes it feel like a, a Zelda game. Feels very Zelda like. Zeldesk. That just sounds like a Zelda desk. <laughs> Zelda esque. To have the qualities of a Zelda game. Right, test of wood. Equip the Korok set. Um, later. Yeah, I need, um... I forget how it works. Hang on. Well, this is pretty much gone anyway. Um, and then... Yeah, I have to make a sword for a uh, room for the both. That sucks, but you know. Yeah, this one sucks because you have to uh, not lose any of those items the whole time. And you have to reach the end. And there's a lot of stuff that's on fire. And you can't unequip. Test of Ward. <laughs> the thing is, you gotta be very minimal on fighting. See if I remember. Ooh. How to cheese it still? I need I need to get rid of this bat.
We ought to have been in the mood for today. It'll probably get tomorrow. It's like... At these boba tea places, they do sparkling fruit tea. That shit is the bomb. It's like a mango sparkling fruit tea. I want it. There's a way to do it by climbing the trees. I just... I need to remember. At least the bats are dead. No, no, no. Careful. Oh, crap. All right, this is the part where I need to worry. Okay, um... Careful, I gotta let that pass. There's also that. Ow. Okay, just slip behind this for a minute. No! Ah, I stood in there for too long. That's a safe spot. I just stood in there for too long. It's... It's annoying. Yeah. Nah. Oh well. Yeah. <sighs> Nope, go back, go back. Ah! I went the wrong way. Why do I keep falling for this? I keep thinking it's straight ahead, it's not. I didn't get lost, the game is just being a dick. <laughs> if anything, it prevents me from getting lost. There's very few fences you can hop. This is one of them here. Okay, here. This is the tree that I'm allowed to cr climb. No. Nope. Careful, careful, careful. I'm allowed to climb this tree. Yep. 
As long as the tree continues along, it's fine. Fuck the rock, dicks. Okay. It's okay. Just get through the pain. Eat the shrooms. Okay, this part sucks. Oh, no! Oh, wait. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't get rid of it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Let that happen. Let that happen. Let that happen. That's better than losing. Did it put me at the start? Put me at the start. Oh, you... <sighs> you know what? I, I may as well have lost. I should have shot them. I'm surprised when I caught on fire I didn't lose. Work through the pain. There you go. Done. Go! Congratulations, you've passed the test of wood. Well done, hero man. Happiness awaits you at the shrine. Hey, yeah. If you ever want to do the trial again, just let me know. See ya. No. Absolutely not. Not gonna be a thing. Zero incentive to do that. Maghalan. Never going to happen. Last you'll see of this shrine ever again. I am Mag Highland. Already worthy. I like the look of the Korok stuff, it's just weak. The shield's not too bad. I guess the bow's a triple shot, but it doesn't compare to the Lionel stuff. And I didn't even use any of them once. It's the true pacifist run. I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else to do here now. At least... Not till later. <laughs> okay, what's the next pay to win card? Because it's once every 24 hours I think you can use them, so... I just want to secure the armor sets. 
This one's gonna be a bit weird, but let's see. Especially if I got the face. They're still shooting at me. Okay, I got the chest piece. Yeah, I mean, this one's cool, but... It offers a clear advantage. <laughs> Attack up. Once belong to the hero of a world in which the moon threatened to fall. If you wear it, you feel like a fierce godlike power flow through you. Legend has it this armor was once worn by a hero who battled the monsters of Twilight. There still seems to be some hair clinging onto it. It may look like it's from a wolf. I do like the, the flavor text of this. Legend has it this armor was once worn by a hero who traveled through time. Strangely, its special design is fitted for children and adults alike. Legend has it this armor was once cherished by a hero who sailed the great sea. It's said to have been a gift from his grandmother. Ah, oh, according to this legend, this cap was once treasured by an ancient hero. It's quite the simple cap, yet there's something that's just so appealing. All right, well, I got I got one more, as far as armor goes, which is the Skyward Sword one. I'm just going to choose to ignore. What the fuck? <laughs> What's with the boxes? <laughs> ah, it's Ice Iris. Doesn't it say here that it would drop a crate? Oh. Uh, uh, oh, ooh, is, is this fine? I think it's fine. Yeah, Malakalan. Alright, we're, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We're okay. I thought for a sec I did something stupid and bad. Apparently I can't drop the chests here. Okay, I can... I'll do it here in the open. But yeah, I think that that's it for the the lost woods. There's one per per corner, and then the central one. Oh. Shit. I did it wrong. I saved. Oh well, that's fine. I guess the only other one I have is the one that gives this. Nope. Advantage. This one is is a is a saddle. So it's for horse stuff. It's just of course you have to be lucky enough to get it. Alright, last attempt at it. Wah, wah. All right, loading, and we continue. I got all the main ones. I don't think there's any. There's ones that give weird helms. So like there's one in here, for example, that gives the divine beast helms, which is a bit strange. 
but we might look at them later just to see the cosmetics because some of you might have not seen some of them before i think it's a good way to showcase them it's not to say they provide an advantage and i'm not going to wear them anyway I just need to find the way out now. The magical tree that spits me out. I think it's up here. Get lost. Yeah, it's just leading to that. We don't want to do that. Damn it, where's this tree that eats you? Dare kick me out. There it is. Note from Maka, just climb into the tree's mouth, leave the forums. I promise I won't eat you. <laughs> that sound does not give me all the confidence in the world. Alright, that's that's the forest done. Wait, why'd I mark that with a sword? There's no- there's nothing there, I don't think. I think that's just ingredients. I'll have a look. I could be wrong. Ah, sunshine. Daylight. There was an eclipse here in Australia today. Unfortunately, where I am, it was only a 10% partial eclipse, but still. Yeah, no, this is an ingredient thing. This should be cooked.
But I suppose now I'm dressed like a... Like a child of the woods. If only my... My underpants or shorts were green, I guess. Or brown with, like, green. This looks like this stuff here. There's a fairly wide area. Hopefully I don't catch on fire. I get the feeling if I step onto those rocks, I'm going to catch on fire. Like, this is the boundary right here. attention to what other central Hyrule, central Hyrule, central Hyrule um, not quite yet desert, Hyrule castle near the br I'm surprised I haven't gotten that one because I've been there where's here? not here, here I think I know where that is okay so uh, yeah, I mean I gotta remember to work on the memories. Yeah, map. Thank you. that bird's trying to do. making sure. Dara. I 
I don't understand some of these platforms. Is the intent that I should shoot them down? Some of them are just randomly floating. What is... What is the, uh... The significance of them just floating like that? Oh shit, there's like this whole stretch here that I haven't walked up. Ah, uh, this is probably why. <laughs> 50,000 lizards. Lizalfos. Oh, come on, really? You're gonna start raining now? And a whiz robe. It's funny that they wave at you, though. Like, are they villains, or are they just agents of chaos that want to have fun? Yeah, but, you know, of course it's going to rain. That's, that's... I get it. Haha, -ha, I shouldn't say it, because of course it's going to rain. But it's just the point at which it decides to rain, I guess, is, is the thing. It's not that it's raining. Of course, it's going to happen. But... The timing. Like, I, I can imagine somewhere in their game code is, like, just a function called fuck the player over. <laughs> uh. Yeah, no. Nah. It's going to rain. It wasn't because I was trying to climb as well. It was more just... There were enemies around, so any sort of escape maneuver I want to make, it's going to hinder that. Whether it's combat or climbing, it's just, yep, that's, that's when it happens. Hmm, mm, mm. Stamina! There we go. So... Ah, uh, look. Likelihood is low, but... Sanity... For later. Oh, 
Okay, and this is the turnaround point. I guess once... I mean, there's this area here, but this is not going to take long. I guess then I have a choice of what tower to do next. So we're going to go with anyone connected to this one. So we have the northern area here. We could do this one here. This one here. There's, there's four that I can pick from. The central one is a bit annoying because it involves Hyrule Castle, but, you know, I, I could do it. There are Koroks to get there, and it's a bit more involved, but could do it. If you had a choice, which one would I do? The snow one, I guess I, I definitely have to prepare food for it. Not that that's hard, it's just, yeah. And then central is... Uh, <laughs> snow? Okay. But I think for that one, I have to have fire sword on me at all times, and I think I even have to go to the extent of eating food on top of that to survive. But it's doable. I can do it. I'm confident I can do it. I have no doubt in my mind. It's something I've done before. It's not going to cause the most stress. The desert area is the one that I, I'm not looking forward to. Anything in the southern areas of the map. They're the harder ones. Because if I'm not, if I'm not wrong, I, there's no established order to this, but I'm pretty sure you're supposed to do either Rito or Zora first, and then you do the Gorons, and then last is the Gerudo area. If I'm not, like, going by the difficulty of the Divine Beast, right, like, the Rito and the, uh... The Zoro ones, the fights aren't hard, and then when you get to the one on um, at the Goron area, that one's pretty tricky. But the one in the Garuda area just sucks. It's, it's pretty hard. It's definitely the hardest of all of them. <laughs> and then there's the, the most Australian sounding enemy in the game. The Molduga. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go catch myself a few Moldugas for dinner. <laughs> just the Duga part, it just, I don't know, it just sounds Australian. Bloody Moldugas. That is pretty Aussie sounding, right? <laughs> 
Oh, uh, look. Look who's in trouble again. Oh, no! Save me! Oh, you have a boomerang. I'll save you. Come to the river. Don't play with fire. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Nearly. This is how you kill these things. In a pretty reliable way. There we go. Dead. I am the hero. Otherwise, it's just not worth fighting that thing. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Hey! Hey! Reward! I was watching the river flow by, is that such a crime? Seeing the water stream so peacefully makes it hard to believe the great calamity happened. Then monsters attack out of nowhere, and I think, all oh, right, time to head back to the stables. Ugh, whatever. No, hey! I saved you. I saved you! I have the worst luck. Totally the worst luck. Someone... <laughs> For fuck's sake. I was nervous there for a minute. Thanks for the help. Where's my other reward? Uh. <laughs> I saved you twice. <laughs> if anything, you have the best luck in the world. You could have died twice. It's such a glass half empty approach to look at things. You live, you breathe. You do not have bad luck. Hi. Some weather we're having. Okay. Um, hang on. This is the information, dude. Where's the gourmet? Um What's wrong? You wanna get anywhere in this life, you gotta have cash and cash it. Right. The only way to do that in this day is to go stay with me at Hyrule Castle. Rumor has abandoned treasure and weapons. Go for it. <laughs> You're right, I can't... Yeah, alright. Can't be bothered reading that. It's just... Generic. I feel less anxious with you around, thanks. I hear a hundred years ago there weren't so many monsters. A lady could actually go for a walk alone if she wanted. I can't even picture it now. <laughs> Where's my reward? Just kidding. Okay. Uh, we're going to take a small intermission. I'm going to get a beverage. And, uh, yeah. Stretch my legs for a couple of minutes. Because it's been a few hours. Four. Almost. So... If you're watching later on YouTube, this is the time at which I'd like to say bye, YouTube.
But, uh, thank you for watching and sticking to the end if you got this far. And, uh, consider doing all the algorithm fun stuff if you want to support. But yeah, see you next time, YouTube.